Advanced Features in MS Excel Learning about the following points Sorting Filtering Cell Referencing Charts MS Excel is a spreadsheet software used to work with numbers, text, formula and charts. It is a part of the MS Office suite of applications. MS Excel is widely used by people at home and work when they need to handle large sets of data which require various manipulations and calculations. Each file in Excel is called a workbook and each workbook is made up of a number of worksheets. Worksheets are made up of horizontal rows and vertical columns. The intersection of a row and a column is called a cell. Every cell in Excel has a cell address which is formed by the combination of the column name and row number. We can access each cell by its cell address. You have already learned how to work with formula and functions in Excel. In this chapter, you will learn some more useful features in Excel such as sorting of data, filtering of data, applying cell referencing in formula and creating graphs. Sorting Sorting is the rearranging of data of a selected range of cells in ascending or descending order. We can sort numeric and text data in Excel. To sort numbers in the worksheet in descending order. 1. Select the range. 2. Click on the Sort Descending button on the standard toolbar. The range is sorted in descending order. To sort names in alphabetical orders. First, select the range. 2. Click the Sort Ascending button. The names are sorted in ascending order. The worksheet given below shows the records of some of the students of class 8. To find the topics of each section, we need to follow these steps. 1. Select the range. 2. Click Data menu. Sort. The Sort dialog box appears. 3. Click on the Header Row Option button. 4. Click on the down arrow button in each row and select as given. First row, Section, Ascending. Second row, Marks, Descending. The sorted range will appear as given below. Filtering of data. We can filter or extract data from a selected range of cells in our worksheet based on a given condition. Let us consider the same worksheet given above. To display the records of the students having scored 90%, follow these steps. 1. Click on any cell in the worksheet. 2. Click Data menu, Filter, Auto filter. The worksheet appears as below. 3. Click the arrow of the mark column and select 90 from the drop down list. 4. The rows of the students having scored 90 will be displayed. To remove the filter option, click all from the list. The filter will be removed. To display the records of students of section A, Scoring less than or equal to 40. 1. From the section column drop down list, select A. 2. From the marks column drop down list, select Custom. The Custom Auto Filter dialog box appears. 3. 
select less than or equal to in the first drop down box and enter 40 in the adjacent box as shown below. The records of the students of section E having scored 40 and less are displayed. To remove the filtering option, click Data, Filter, Disable the Auto Filter option. Cell Referencing Each cell in a worksheet has a unique address formed by the intersection of its column letter and row number. Formula in Excel Use cell addresses to access the values stored in the cell. This is known as cell referencing. There are three ways of referencing cell addresses. 1. Relative cell referencing. 2. Absolute cell referencing. And 3. Mixed cell referencing. Now, relative referencing. The worksheet given below has been created to calculate the total cost of the list of atoms. The formula to do this would be Total cost is equal to price into number of atoms. To calculate the total cost of atom number 1, that is bag, we entered the formula in cell E2 as is equal to C2 into D2. The cell now shows the calculated value. The actual formula is visible in the formula bar. To calculate the total cost of the other items, we copy the formula in cell E2 to the cells E3 to E7. The cells will now show the calculated values. Observe the formula in cell E2, E7 in the formula bar. E2 is equal to C2 into D2. E3 is equal to C3 into D3. E4 is equal to C4 into D4. And thus, E7 is equal to C7 into D7. Well, when the formula in E2 is copied to the other cells, MS Excel automatically adjusts the cell references in the pasted cells. This is known as relative referencing where the cell address automatically gets adjusted with reference to the current cell during the copying of the formula. Absolute referencing Sometimes we do not want the references to change when we copy a formula to a different cell. That is, we wish to fix the address of the cell in the formula. Here, we use absolute cell referencing. The worksheet given below shows the salaries of employees. It also shows the incremented salaries of the employees after having been given a 15% increment. To calculate the incremented salary, we have to apply the formula. Incremented salary is equal to old salary plus old salary into 15%. Hence, the value in cell D3 containing the percentage of increment has to be fixed for all employees. To do this, we place a sign before the column letter and row number of the cell address which has to be fixed. To calculate Akash incremented salary, the formula in cell E3 is is equal to C3 plus C3 into D3. When this formula is copied to the other cells, the reference to cell E3 remains unchanged. Absolute cell referencing is used when we want the reference to a cell to remain unchanged during copying of a formula. Mixed referencing Mixed referencing is used when we want to fix only a part of the cell address. To do this, we put a sign either before the row number or the column letter 
For example, A 6 E 12 When a formula using mixed cell referencing is copied to another location, only the relative part of it gets changed. Charts in Excel Worksheets are used to work with a large amount of numeric data. It is commonly required to analyze this data and prepare a report based on the analysis. Charts or graphs in Excel are a very popular tool to analyze numeric data. Charts are a way of showing the data in a worksheet in a pictorial form. They are visually appealing and make it easy for users to see comparisons, patterns and trains in data. Instead of having to analyze several columns of worksheet numbers, you can see and understand at a glance the changing trains in data. A charge could be used to show the monthly sales of a company, the comparative performance of the students of a class, the monthly budget of a family, the rainfall trains in the last three years. MS Excel has many types of charts. We can use different types of charts to represent different types of data. Before you study about the different types of charts, you must learn about the components of the chart and this will help you to understand how to create, read and analyze a chart. Chart Title This is the title or name given to the chart you have plotted. Data Series This is the set of values you want to plot in the chart. X-axis this is the horizontal axis. It is also known as the category axis. Y axis. This is the vertical axis and it is also known as the value axis. Legend. A legend allows you to assign colors to different data series. This makes it easy to identify various plotted data series. Chart area. This is the area surrounding the chart. Plot area. This is the area in which we plot our data. Types of graphs. Excel has different types of charts which can be used to convert data into a pictorial representation. It is important to choose the right type of graph for your data. Some of the type of graphs. 1. Column chart. 2. Pie chart. 3. Line chart. 4. Area chart. 5. Bar chart. 6. Donut chart. 7. Radar chart. 8. XY scatter chart. The commonly used charts are Column chart. Column charts are used to compare values of different items. Vertical lines or columns are used to do a comparative study between different values. They can be used to show the monthly sales figures of companies, the performance of students in a class, the monthly expenditure of a household, etc. Line chart. A line chart shows trains in data at equal intervals. The change in a value over a period of time can be understood very well when shown with a line chart. A line chart could be used to compare the marks obtained by students in different terms. Pie chart. A pie chart compares the size of the individual items in a data series. A pie chart can represent only one data series. 
They show each value of the data series in comparison to the whole. For example, the monthly sales figures of a company. Creating a chart in Excel. The easiest way of creating charts in Excel is by using the chart wizard present on the standard toolbar. The chart wizard is a program which guides you step by step through the process of making a chart. To create a chart, we must first get the data ready in the worksheet. To do this, Open a new worksheet and enter this data. Select the range of cells to appear in the chart. Click the chart wizard icon from the standard toolbar or click insert menu, chart. The chart wizard opens up. Select the chart type you want. 2. Click the press and hold to view sample button. This gives you an idea how the chart will look. If you are not satisfied with the look, change the chart type. 3. Click the next. The chart source data dialog box appears. The range of the selected cells appears in the data range text box. If the range has not been selected previously, Click the text box to select the range. 4. Click OK. The chart option dialog box appears. Here, in the Titles tab, specify the titles for the chart, x-axis, y-axis. In the Axis, Grid Line, Data Labels and Data Tables tab, you can specify further details which you want to appear on your chart. 5. Click OK. The chart location dialog box appears which asks you to specify the location where the chart is to be placed. 6. The As New Sheet option places the chart in a new worksheet. 7. The AS object in option lets you save the worksheet as an embedded object in the same worksheet. 8. Click Finish. Selecting a chart. To select a chart, move the mouse pointer over the chart and click it. Moving Chart. To move an embedded chart to a different location on the same worksheet, click and drag it. To move it to a new worksheet, select the chart and then use the cut and paste options from the standard toolbar. Razinga Chart Click on any empty space inside the embedded chart to select it and then move the mouse pointer over one of its handles. Here, the mouse pointer changes into a double-headed arrow. Click and drag until the dotted outline is the size you want. Dragging the corner handles resizes the chart proportionally. Deleting a chart. To delete an embedded chart, select the chart and press the delete key. Changing the chart type. To change the type of chart, 1. Click the chart to select it. 2. Click on the chart menu, chart type. 3. The chart type dialog box appears. 4. Click on the chart type to select it. 5. Click OK. Formatting your chart. To format the objects on the chart, double-click the objects. 1. The formatting window for that object appears. 2. To select an object, click it 
or select it from the chart object drop down list in the chart formatting toolbar. 3. Click the format button. The formatting window appears, which allows you to format the particular object. Summary In this chapter, we have learned following points. The intersection of a row and a column is called a cell. The data menu has the sorting and filtering commands. Mixed referencing is used when we want to fix only a part of the cell address. Charts in Excel can be used to convert data into a pictorial representation. Pie chart, column chart, line chart are some chart types. A legend allows you to assign colors to different data series in a chart. Chart area is the area surrounding the chart. Plot areas in the area in which we plot our data.